Hello, Brother Monroe here. Welcome back to Ultimate Admiral Dreadnoughts and to the French campaign, where it's now February of 1905. Uh, France is the biggest economy in the world. Uh, now, by a clear margin, as we have stayed out of international conflict so far. It looks like China is getting uppity with us, um, which, you know, I'm sure we'll be fine. Uh, but more importantly, we're only about seven months away from getting Krupp armor, which is going to trigger me to start the construction of Dreadnoughts. But in seven months, we get Scout Cruisers, which is very exciting. Um, so there might be a little bit of a uh, little bit of construction. We're also getting our first Mark IV guns. It's very exciting. We're not too far off getting is this our oh, stereo too, range finders and things like that. So things going well. Otherwise, very quiet. Um, very quiet indeed. China still slowly sinking in terms of their economy. They are the smallest. Yep, they're the smallest economy now. Uh, they weren't before, but they are now. And, uh, yeah, they are... They need out of these wars that they're currently in. They definitely don't need France joining in. What a shame that would be. Anyway, uh, it was just to let you know what's going on, because it's a reasonable time skip, and that hopefully we'll get our version of Dreadnought under construction very soon. Called it. Um, yeah, China, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go in. Um, I'll conduct a personal investigation of the allegations of corruption, um, even though it cost me a lot of money because we're just about to, we're gonna get tons of money now. Uh, France and China are at war now. In terms of threats to us back home, Germany and Italy. So I'm not gonna move uh, the Channel Fleet or the Mediterranean Fleet. I'm actually going to move the Atlantic fleet over to... Well, we might be able to take um, Pengu immediately. And I'm also going to take the fleet and any ships that are in the South Pacific and Southeast Asia regions and put them on sea control. And just in case, uh, West Indian Ocean as well. I don't think we need to activate any of the other ships, or we shouldn't need to. Hmm, Arabian Sea, possibly. We might come over there Annoy convoys. Better safe than sorry. We've got, annoyingly, like three months to go. <laughs> but this means I can juice the tech budget. And that's nah, still three months. But the others will probably come down a little bit. So, yes, we are at war with China. And uh, there is definitely stuff we can take. We can try and take Pengu, Formosa. Excuse me. Um, Hong Kong, which they've taken off the British, we might be able to take back. Um, hopefully Fort Bayar kicks into high gear and tries to push into southern China. Not that the British have had much success with that, but, you know, we might have some, maybe. Because I think we've got a higher army logistics than the Brits. Yeah, it's significantly higher. Um, and China does not have good army logistics, but still, it's a lot of force. Oh my god, they're almost at war with Spain too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Germany might use this as an opportunity, and so might Spain. So I'm going to leave leave those fleets as is, and I'm going to see if we get any action, which would be very exciting. Sure enough action it is. We have a border patrol 
Um, the Heifer class, 1899. No, sorry, the Heifer 1899, a four class. What? What am I looking at? What am I looking at? Wei Sheng, which is a Hefa class, and it's the 1899-4 variant, which might mean it's the fourth refit of this ship. Uh, two, 284 millimeter guns, two twin 240s or so, one tin, okay. Um, People have been asking me to do this, so if I go to default, you can see it in inches instead. Um, so it's 11.2s, 9.5s, 5.7s, 3.3s, 1.9s. It looks just as crazy <laughs> in both. Um, now, we don't have a lot up against it. We've got the Marseilles, which is one of the new uh, Cosmal class. The Duconce de Tricolore, the Targi another tricolor and a destroyer um but it's not like they're unescorted if they were just one battleship that's an 1890 oh well i don't know i think we have to get some intelligence on what on what the uh, chinese have all these ships are super super slow um the battleship doesn't have any torpedoes the rest of the ships do, so you never know. We might be able to get into a position where we can put some torpedoes into her, which would be very significant. But we're going to have to focus on taking out their small ships, first of all, I think. But look at this mighty cruiser squadron sailing into battle. I do love the double, <laughs> double front singles. Uh, and there we have, yes, one of our brand new Cosmo ships doing the bouncy bouncy. Boing boing, there we go. Thank you. Glorious. Right, where are these uh, Chinese ships? Nowhere to be seen. Right, save your torps. Turn all that rubbish off. Uh, normal formation. They are that way. Right. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can find them. Sap, the fastest ship by far. <laughs> Should be able to find these Chinese ships. I'm just wondering what. What they're up to. Yes, that's a very typical looking light cruiser. I want to try, as best I can, to eliminate their light ships. And then we might be able to get a clear run on the battleship. So let's get our line in order. I want to keep the destroyer back, because they, they will target it. Accuracy is going to be pretty bollocks, I would imagine. Or not. Getting a couple of hits there. These are the heavy cruisers. Yeah. Fun. Fun. Look, it actually looks decent. So when you discover that they've armoured it with paper. <laughs> And there is the battleship. That is really weird. <laughs> that is a super weird ship. Love it. Oh, we'll have a proper look at it later. Right, can we take out the Eula? Yeah, yeah, we can. Right, what is she running? Armor is awful. It's must be iron plate. Yep. Iron plate armor. 
really not up to snuff. Taking heavy damage. They do have many bulkheads, though. Right, Sappy, you are needed over here. Quite a lot of flooding hits. Not enough to, to put it down. on them. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, nice. Put down those light cruisers. Double back. Right, one down. Because again, if we can eliminate these light ships easily enough with our guns and save the torpedoes for that big battleship, which we do have ID'd. That is so unbelievably slow. Let's have a lot of armor. It's only compound, though. We can eliminate those light cruisers. Maybe get rid of the heavy cruisers, which also have torpedoes. What's their armor like? Not great, not terrible. Again, only compound. But uh, their battleship is out of position. It's not being covered by those cruisers. Maybe we can get a cheeky hit in here. You learn sinks and Zinyi also sinks. Thanks to a shell from the Marseillaise. Hmm. Trying to hit the battleship. If those cruisers are retreating, it's not a bad option. Or are they moving to intercept? the destroyer hard to tell what they're up to I've got a crew training and they got green 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 okay we're running trained crews now which is nice smoke up yeah let's see if we can get some torpedoes into the into the battleship because we might be able to attack her from both sides. Do you have to get very, very close? Is the only problem. Sappy. You can do it. It's going to be like, no, there are friendly ships on the other side of you. Fire as soon as you're able. Not in range yet. Now we are. There you go. You are out of here. over the front of the ship as usual but that one hits midships there's more coming out from the cruisers again fired too far in front of the ship every time I think that happens they always fight in front too far in front of the ship but uh, we did hit them once and then this caused them quite a lot of damage. We should be able to come back and uh, put some more torps into them. With the starboard launchers. Uh, 
And we are able to damage them with our guns. They're taking damage on their... Um... Ooh, a rear torpedo. Oh, yes. Love it. That'll sink her. Gone. Marciers. With the killing blow there. Right. Heavy cruisers. You up for a bit of... Uh, scrapping? Our torpedoes have doubled the range of yours, so it's not going to go super well for them, I don't think. I don't know how our armor stacks up against their guns. Ooh, pretty well, actually. Oh, I'll be on the wrong quality, though. So they probably can... Probably can hurt me. Don't go into it. No, okay, good. Now, how fast are these things going? Yeah, super slow. So I can afford to slow down a little bit. Speed 16 knots. As we cross their T, or try to. More fire into them. Of course, the formation is uh, getting totally messed up because I slowed down. Let's go back to full speed. Torps. Yeah, there you go. Uh, somehow they're going to dodge that. And it's going to hit nothing. <laughs> oh, torpedoes in dreadnoughts. Always the same. Ducons fires next. That looks a little better to me. All torpedoes on target. Oh, they were, three of them were duds. One of them did connect, though. Dud chance, by the way, is set at 50% base. So, not outside the realms of possibility. Um, three out of four. You only need one, though. And Anui or Anhui goes down. So far, I've been very impressed with uh, this squadron. Bloody hell! <laughs> Exceptionally impressed. You just sink that one with gunfire. Love it. Well, that's not the start that China will have wanted. Losing a battleship, two heavy cruisers, and three light cruisers, and doing virtually no damage in return. That is very bad news. Not that these things were particularly expensive. Like, ah, uh, yeah, the Marseilles here is more expensive than their battleship. So, as far as the game's concerned, this was a this was an even fight, but. This this is very out of date. I'm not sure this was ever in date, to be honest. Um, back to the map. All right. Um, we also have the opportunity here to really do a number on the Chinese economy if we can take out these convoys. By the way, the fleet, I'm not sure where they've gotten to uh, in terms of progress. Yeah, here they are. They're just coming um, through the Gulf of Aden. Um, which means... Yeah, there's still going to be a while before they arrive. So this is this is the local forces doing this. Um, we've got two light cruisers, two heavy cruisers. And heavy cru trying to deploy all of her forces here. Pretty much, I think. 
Oh, we. Oh no. Okay, they've got more. Since I last looked, let's try this one. Is this the same thing? No, this is a totally different battleship, the Sucheng eighteen ninety four dash three class. Uh, a torpedo boat, four transports, and up against them we have two porcupines and the hussar. Okay. Do our best. Again, just trying to avoid losing ships unnecessarily. To the north. Hussar, you are on scout duty. As the porcupines heave their way forward. What have you got? Light cruiser. Heavy cruiser? Yep. So hang back again and just look for an opportunity, if you get one, to take a crack at that battleship. Well, we first off try and eliminate that light cruiser. There's the battleship. That's slightly more sensible than the last one we saw, but not by a lot. <laughs> and there are the transports in the background. Okay. Interesting. Oh, there we go. 80 mil finding their target. Oh, and then the big guns. Oh, and a couple of torpedoes for good measure. Lovely. Right, light cruiser dealt with. Destroyer. Sneaking around. Yeah, this is the torpedo boat, isn't it? With low fuel... How did you manage that? Yeah, I think try and take out that heavy cruiser if you can, or at least do some damage to it. Switch up to the battleship. And you're still on the heavy cruiser. Good. There's my destroyer. There she is. Let's see if we can be a little bit cheeky here. Assuming the battleship does not have torpedoes. Nope. Oh, nice shot. Uh, two main belt pens on the long name. <laughs> oh, and more. 
Hey! Ah, yes. The fun of playing in the early years of the campaign. Boom! <laughs> Battleship taking some damage too. While she furiously tries to kill the Sar. Who we can try and get a torpedo off with. Should be plenty close enough. Swing the torp launch around. There you go. Smoke up and... Boom. One dud, but one connects. Jintang. Very, very hurt after that. Heavy cruisers should be able to finish her off. in the direction of the transports, please. Because I know they're over there somewhere. going out. Once <laughs> I think Furion uh Fudriante Fudriant? I don't know how to pronounce that. I was trying to hit the torpedo boat with hers torpedo, but a Y fifteen getting pretty shredded by the eighty mil. And Henri the fourth putting the battleship out of its misery. Yep. And there are the transports. Ha ha ha. Yes, very good. Do they have guns? No. Oh dear. Poor little transports. Poor, poor little transports. Right, cue the music.
and there we go. More, wow. <laughs> yeah, another serious loss for the Chinese. Let's see if we can do that again. All right, next up we have the Bricks, or Bri, um, the Colbert, the Catina, and the Estrier. Uh, Truda. Oh, lovely. <laughs> Two of them. This is a bigger convoy, guarded by a Shu Seng class. Uh, heavy cruiser. Yeah. Iron plate. Uh, this is going to be harder. I think. Because, yeah, these three... In fact, we could just make one big squadron. Mm -hmm. Oh, they do look so fun. Supposedly joining the line at some point. Where are the Chinese, though? There they are. Coming out with, what, torpedo boat first? Please tell me you're just feeding ships to be piecemeal. Be very funny. For me. Tricky to hit. So far. Oh, nope. Couple of 40 mils from the catty net. Catch it. Ooh. Uh, they're going to get in range. Come on, Colbert. You can do it. Yeah! Oh, cancelled. <laughs> yeah, their one exploded as soon as it hit the water. Mm -hmm. Reduce that light cruiser next. Torpedoes. Bunch of hits. Catina. Might get hit in return, though. Catina. You can do it. Dud. <whistles> Okie dokie. Just gonna control all the ships individually at this point, I think. Cruiser down. Come 
Come on, you can get this one too. Yes, very good. Right, now we just have the battleship. We might be able to torpedo. S3A in range, but she's still reloading. Well, one or two torpedoes coming out. On this 38. Just need to stand up against them long enough. Oh, torpedo against the Jian. Katina. Oh, that is a lucky cruiser. So is Katina, though. Come on, S S38. Yeah, three of them. <laughs> Bit of a mess at the end, but all gone. And that just leaves the transports.
All right, convoy sunk. Not a total victory. We did lose one of the little Truder class ships. Um, though she did contribute quite a lot before she went down. Uh, she just took. Yeah, a bunch of penetrating hits from the enemy. One, two, seven mils. Sad, but, you know, not, not much you can do about that. Um, but a big old convoy sunk and a battleship to boot. Pretty happy with that. Back to the map for the last convoy battle. All right, last convoy. This time, uh, no battleships, just heavy cruisers. But I only have lights. Uh, a tricolor and a different one. <laughs> Two destroyers, though. Yes, these are interesting fights. I mean, on paper, shouldn't be that easy for the French. But so far, the Far East stations have been doing very well. Oh, the weather's terrible. Um... Oh, it's one of the new ones. Well, which I've forgotten the name of already. Uh, oh, so bad. Um, yeah, it's the one with the uh, guns hanging off the side. It's not it very far away. There we go. Torpedo boats. Which we need to eliminate. Good hits, uh, a big shell and a couple of 80 millimeters, and a nice shot, a bit of flooding from the destroyers. What are you doing? Yeah, that's what I was worried about. I'm gonna run straight into a torpedo, you idiot. Because you're massively out of position. It's a dud. Then you're gonna ram a torpedo boat. And run into a bunch of shells. Jesus. And waste your own torpedoes. You are ordered back to port for a performance that terrible. Mm 
Okay. Can we not finish off that torpedo boat? Come on, Francis. Surely you can get a hit. Here you go. Thank you. Second torpedo boat. Come on. Are these maximum bolt hits here? Yeah. Very uh, sticky. There you go. Got rid of them. Ooh, that was a good hit. Main belt then. With the uh, 155 mil six-inch guns, well, 6.1 technically, I suppose. Keep hearing a uh, noise that sounds like a torpedo hit. <laughs> Getting paranoid. Francis here does not have her torps loaded. I'm kind of hoping to get her on towards the transports, actually. She did hit something with her torpedo. I'm not even sure what she torpedoed. Might have been one of the torpedo boats. Yeah. Oh. But uh, now... You're going to have to withdraw. Still, the uh, one light cruise is down. I reckon the second one is going to go down soon as well. Uh, kind of just sat there and uh, took that one. The second light cruiser. I was going to say, I'm amazed they were still afloat. No, no, they go down. Do you take another torpedo? That's a little harsh. I don't think I'm going to get the transports. They are too far away and it is too poor in terms of the visibility. He goes away. Concentrated torpedo burst, which can be good and can be terrible. Wow. All four connect there. Another one. You know. Pretty badly hurt after that. Ah. Of course, it's the AI. They're going to be able to get a torpedo off before they sink. Should have thought of that. Damn. 
Right, John Bart. You are to withdraw, please. It's all down to full faith. Oh, solid shots. Got him. Lovely. It's a hit, but it doesn't go through the armor. Nice bounce off. Flooding. Oh, torps. Uh, oh. Got lucky with a hitbox and boom. Right, there are some transports, but we'll call it there. Lost, uh, lost the destroyer. They lost three armoured cruisers, two light, and two torpedo boats, although their convoy gets away. Very nice. Back to the map, I think. All right. Uh, welcome back. So, uh, let's have a look and see what that has done to the Chinese. Uh, <laughs> yeah. They're, that's not looking too hot, and we've definitely knocked their fleet down, and their army lodgy has gone down as a result. All good stuff. Well... I hope you join me next time when we're going to start designing our Dreadnought. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you again soon for some more Ultimate Apple Dreadnoughts. Bye for now.